In this video, I want to look at the connection between complex numbers and vectors. Let's start by looking at two complex numbers. Let's take the complex number z, which is 2 plus 5i. There it is, along 2, up 5. As far as the Algan diagram is concerned, there's no difference between the complex number 2 plus 5i and the vector 2, 5. I've used the letter z and then oz as a vector. Same sort of thing is true for w. w is 4 plus i. 4 plus i is along 4 and up 1, exactly the same as the vector ow. Let's look now and see what happens if we look at the vector or the complex number. I don't really mind what I say. z minus w. Z minus W is going to be equal to 2 plus 5i minus 4 plus i. 2 minus 4 is minus 2. 5 minus 1 is 4i. So my complex number is minus 2 plus 4i. I've drawn this on the diagram, and I've called it the complex number v. Well, let's do the same thing with vectors. Let's look at the vector w, z. We should all know that that is the vector o, z minus the vector o, w. Well, o, z is the vector 2, 5. O, w is the vector 4, 1. And when I subtract one from the other, I get minus 2, 4. And that is the vector w, z. I've drawn this on the diagram for you, and you can see that there is no difference at all between the vector w, z and the vector o, v. As far as vectors are concerned, they are both backwards 2 and up 4. This would be the same for any two complex numbers which I considered and their corresponding vectors. I could always show that the complex number z minus w corresponded to the vector wz. And so we can say that the modulus of the number z minus w, mod z minus w, is equal to the length of the vector wz. So the modulus of z minus w is equal to the length of the vector wz, or the distance from w to z. And we can also say that the argument of z minus w will be the angle made by the vector wz with the positive x-axis. So I have my complex number z minus w, which is represented by this line OV. The argument is the angle made with the x-axis. And this is just the same as the argument made by the vector wz with the x-axis, just that angle theta that's in the diagram. Now let's have a look at this example. If I have two complex numbers, z and w, where I take z to be 3 plus 4i and w to be 2 minus i, I want to draw a diagram to show the vectors oz, ow, and wz, and the angle arg z minus w. So as far as the angle goes, the argument of z minus w, this is where, in particular, I have to think of the number z minus w as the vector wz. Then the argument of z minus w, I just look at the vector wz and take the angle between wz and the positive x-axis. So here I have drawn the diagram, and you can see that I've put in the vector oz, 
The number was 3 plus 4i, the vector is 3, 4. Complex number w was 2 minus i, the vector is 2 minus 1. There's the vector wz, and the angle made by wz with the positive x-axis is the argument of z minus w. This is a very easy idea, and one that you should never forget. The modulus of z minus w is the length of the vector wz, or, and sometimes you will find it's easier to think like this, the distance from w to z. And the second, the argument of the number z minus w, is the angle made by the vector wz, not zw, wz, with the positive x-axis.